What is that? Uh, what? I guess that's a button to open the door. I didn't even know this was a door. What the f... Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. This place is quite large. A large hut. Looks like someone's living quarters. And I guess I can open it. This place is very large. And there's another door. What is that? A large hut. Oh, I thought that was something separate. Never mind. Just part of the hut. Get a feel for my surroundings before I talk to anyone. Or anything. And it looks like that's it. Okay. Looks like there's four places to go into. Large. Let's go to the first one. What is that thing? That looks disgusting. Ew. There's another one of me. Hello. A handsome young cyclops. I hope he can help me. Excuse me, handsome young cyclops. Could you spare a couple of your arms? And maybe one of your mouths and brain? To speak with me? By the makers! Grimwall! You're Grimwall! But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on the large one just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Gromna built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Graven. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's globe code is Grenesser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Grenesser. Okay, I just wrote it down. Just in case I have to actually remember it. I don't even want to know what that was. I do want to know what this is, though. It's some kind of alien child with two eyes and two arms. Ooh, disgusting. Well, actually, it's not that part that's disgusting. It's the other part. The fact that it looks like its guts are hanging out and it's been exploded. The insect is performing a grotesque experiment. Putting bits of machinery into the child. Ugh. This monster is also half machine. Some kind of scanning unit. Man, the environments in these levels are really, really muddied. I gotta say, it's really hard to tell what's, like, what you can... It's really hard to distinguish potentially interactable stuff from just background stuff. Like, this is apparently a thing. This right here. Even though it barely looks different from anything around it. I know I'm gonna miss a ton of stuff. Let's go speak with someone else. Oh, I didn't even realize this was here. What? What is this? There seems to be some incredibly large puzzle machine that I'm going to have to solve. A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. A great... Oh, maybe I don't have to solve it. That would actually be refreshing. A great machine... Nah, I've got to do something here at some point, but not yet. Yeah, they wouldn't be there for no reason. And it looks like there's a slot where something is supposed to be inserted. Password. Grap. Entry denied. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the password. A defense mechanism for Greven's pod. Password. Grenasir. Enter. Well, he's not going to be here yet, right? No. But still, looks like he has some stuff. Cool. A sledgehammer should come in handy. 
I can, I can wield it with four hands. The heater, it's alive. The heater, <laughs> it's alive. If by that you mean it's heating, then yeah, yeah, pretty normal. Greven's tools. Heaters tend to heat. Three gigantic red buttons. Hmm. Wonder if Graven has any good crystals. And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in the troubled remote community of Warrendale, Authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria, close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, Leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Grum that finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months and presumed dead, it turns out that Grumna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Grumna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay. Hold on, what happens if I do that again? Do I want to? No, 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 no. A sledgehammer. Graven's tools. Sledgehammer and some tools. But what do I do with them? Not so many. Blow down. Too many in the machine. Had another crash there. Alright, let's try this again. these little things. Look at him go. Do they not mind me? Hi. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. I mean, yes, these are inferior creatures. Ugh. Hmm. This insect is hooked up to a machine, and the levers must control the furnace. No, not now. Bugs flying up that tube. Where does it lead? Probably nowhere you want to go. The bellows. They are used to fan the flames of the infernal machine. Did I just see that bug up there throw a like a naked human corpse? So that's what they're doing, aren't they? They're they're using people as, what, fuel? Feeding off of them? It would be enjoyable. <laughs> no. Hmm. This pipe has been fixed recently, though not too well. I can't walk past them, can I? Oh, never mind, I can. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Not too well. Almost like you could break it with a... Sledgehammer should come in. Drug, stop the bellows. Seal the pipe. To continue pumping with that damage would overheat the furnace. Right, they're blind or something, right? I mean, otherwise they would see me, obviously. Yep. 
I can operate as if nothing's wrong. Okay. Crap. <laughs> With that bug gone, I can reach the controls. I'll shut down this abominable furnace. Hmm. This is more complex than I imagined. There appear to be many controls, all interrelated. Oh god, don't tell me it's gonna be... Oh my god, it's probably gonna crash again, right? Hmm. This is... It's one of those interactable things. Oh god, ew. Let's try it, though. Let's try it. What the fuck? Okay, can set to a bunch of things. <laughs> That's really strange. And pretty damn cool, too. What can I interact with and what can I not? Uh. Hi. Hi. I finished the puzzle. Guess what? Guess what happened last time? It crashed. And then you know what happened again? It crashed, and then it crashed, and then it crashed, and then it crashed, and then it crashed. And then it crashed, 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 and then it fucking crashed! Do you know how long it's been since it crashed when we saw a second ago? It's been 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes since it crashed. It took me that long to find the solution. And then, to get through all the crashes to actually use the solution, because it takes a really long time. 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 fucking minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. <gasps> okay, let's continue. So what happened? I solved it, and then I closed up the furnace, so now Gavin, or whatever his name is, should be resting in his pod. Because there will be no more production for the day, because the furnace is broken and shut off at the same time. So, let's go. Wait, did I save it since I completed the puzzle? I don't know if I did. Quick save. Quick save. Quick save. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think 12 quick saves should do it, right? Okay. Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be Kevin should be resting his pot. Kevin, come here, come here, Kevin. Hello, I have returned. There you are. I was beginning to get worried. I thought something terrible might happen to you at the furnace. Especially since your memory is gone. No, I don't remember much of anything. I wouldn't even know my own name if you hadn't told me. <laughs> Every Cyclopean child knows the name of Grimwall. You're the great hero of the War of the One. War of the One? Can you tell me about it? Oh my. You are confused, aren't you? <clears throat> The War of the One was a pivotal point in the history of our people. For years, we had fought the Insectoids, neither side gaining ground as the planet was ravaged by countless battles. The Makers, creators of all and of nothing, watched silently for many years before taking action. They spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. I did? Okay, cool. Nice, I'm a war hero. Savior of... Pe people, stuff, things. If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace, isn't it? The thing was burning children, Graven. Cyclopean children! What? But how can this be? Gromna would never allow such a thing to happen. Gromna? That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He'd never... Ento... what? <laughs> entomologist. 
He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Mission? What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Gromna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. I tell you it's true, Graben. Something is terribly wrong here, and I think that this Gromna person is somehow involved. You must help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Not unless you have some physical proof to back up these wild accusations. Very well. If proof is what you want, then that's what you'll get. Take my advice. That harness you're wearing won't get you past every security device. You might want to see the cyber technician for an upgrade. Let's go pay a visit to the cyber technician, which is somewhere. I have no idea where the cyber technician is. Oh, cyber technician. Art thou overt here? Where are you? Are, are you the cyber technician? What do you do? It looks like you're massaging a... I don't know what that is. It looks like you're massaging a pile of something. Like a pile... Yes, bleep bloop. Who are you? In TikTok. Oh, the game crashed. That's very surprising. I'm very surprised. Can you hear it in my surprised voice? Let's talk to TikTok again. Please don't crash my game, TikTok. Who are you? In TikTok. Cybernetic What? What is your function? To integrate cybernetic enhancements to the flesh. Well, you could help me with something then. Who designed these robotics? Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Where is he? He is within the Queen's chambers. Since it is the eve of retribution, there is much preparation required. His plan must be executed perfectly. Well, I think we're going to mess up his plan. Eve of retribution? Are your memory pathways in need of service? The eve of retribution is known by us all. As of tomorrow, we will return to our rightful position as the dominating race of the planet. Under the guise of peace, we shall collect a debt that has been unpaid for decades. Wait, you mean the peace treaty thing is all just a ruse? No way! What plan do you speak of? Your memory banks must be fluctuating. Gromna has seen the error of his kind's ways and has come to aid us in our desire for revenge. With his gift of cybernetics, we shall once again rule the surface. How will this gift aid us? Are we not mighty enough to conquer the Cyclops without them? Without the speed of cybernetics, we would be vulnerable to the nuclear fire which the enemy controls. Incinerated before we even reached the city. But with the aid of cybernetics, we will be swarming within the walls of the capital before their hands can even reach the launch buttons. The dawn will bring the age of the insectoid. It is inevitable. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Um... You delay in your response. I am busy. Return when you can produce the proper authorization. Okay. Need authorization. Yes, bloop, 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 bloop. Some kind of... Gavin's right now. tools. A sledgehammer. Right now I have a sledgehammer and Gavin's tools. What can I do with either of these things? Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, never mind, I can't pick it up. Hmm. Hmm. ID confirmed. 
Yes, 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 yes. Sector 7. Proceed. Thank you, I was already in the middle of proceeding. Yes, thank you. Thank you. That's wonderful. Fuck off. Jesus. Oh, it's already open. <laughs> Bugs flying up that tube. Where does it lead? Don't know, but I can't go up there. Well, they're back to pumping out this thing, even though it's closed, which is weird. Bye. I'm gonna talk to Gavin again. Maybe he has an idea. Password. Crap. Yeah. Authorization. Robin, Chick Talk requires authorization to upgrade my ID harness. Who can do that? Normally, Gromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool Chick Talk if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Graben, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Really? That, that's it? I just say the words? Um, I think they need to upgrade their security procedures. You know, require some sort of, like, paper authorization or something like that? Because that is terrible security. Not that I'm complaining. Please upgrade now, tanks? I require my I. Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, hold while I search my database for confirmation. My records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Lim Scanner for positive age identification. Well, this should go without a hitch, right? Yeah. Some kind of... Shit. Hmm. The opening is far too small for my arm. Ooh, I know what to do. Use Gavin's tools to cut your arm and make it smaller. Just, like, shave off a bit, you know? Like like a vegetable peeler. Just shave off some of the outside of the potato until you have a nice, little, thin arm. Blah, blah, blah. It's gonna... Yep, yep. That's fascinating. Thank you. The only good bug is a dead one. Ah, 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 very clever. Can I do this? I can't use that here. Okay. What can I use? Yes, thank you, Jesus. We shall return to Gavin and ask him some questions. Oh, Gavin. Never mind, he's not going to help me because he's a total douchebag. Okay, I'm on my own. Well, what shall I do? For some reason... I mean, I took the harness from a thing that is supposed to... I'm supposed to be that thing, yet for some reason I can't use the thing's body for limb identification. I don't... what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Honestly, I just... I just want to get out of here. Hold on, walk through time. I don't even care anymore. I'm done. I'm done caring. Hold on. Verify your age, insert the, uh... Wait, what? In go insert the incinerated bugs... What the fu- Why is it talking about an incinerated bug? Ah, <sighs> is it this? The mechanized arm survived the fire. Hmm. I wonder if it can be used against the beasts. Of course, the, the, the ten pixels on the ground can be picked up. Why did I not see the ten pixels amongst the thousand other pixels? Can't imagine. Ah! 
bleep, 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 Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNAV treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? I was still a sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNAV almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. <sighs> well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. What in the name of the Maker? <laughs> that is a vision. They happen from time to time. Okay. Yeah. Royal Guard class confirmed. Enter. Yes! <laughs> yes! I shall enter. No. <laughs> Hi? This Cyclops is half bug. Who are you? Grit Gritza. Gritza? Yes, that's my name, Gang Clay. Okay, well, they've cracked. But where and what? Where are you from? From... Dum. Where are you from? From... Team... Reem... Team? What team is that? Search... Research... Team... Sent to... Examine... Insectoids... Gramna, the leader, B -b betrayer. Gramna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? He did this to me. M -m -m my body. N -n Not Cyclops anymore. Half the beast. Experiments left me a fr fr I am a freak now. What has he done to you? What experiments? His quest wants to live forever. See insects as the answer. What? I don't understand what answer. Bastard! <laughs> what are you doing here? M -m -m my duty to the queen. What duty is that? To tend the young ones. They are fragile children. So young. Bottles of joy. These bottles have children in them? Clones, grumners, pests. Well, Gromna's one fucked up person. No. Or, or Cyclops. A tube or tunnel of some sort. I wonder how it can be activated. I'll burn all of these grubs before I leave here. You yeah, smash, smash them all. By the Maker! These are Cyclops babies! Ew. Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. 
This is a test of the subject's threshold. The serum will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? Well, that's not an experiment. It's torture! What possible purpose? When you outrank me in lab years, Max, you can question the methods. I see the potential fruits of our research, and that justifies the means. A valuable lesson in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. There's a fire in my brain! Well, that experiment seemed totally above board, and there's no possible ethical problems with it whatsoever. No. Alright, I believe I'm supposed Friends to tools. do this. Now what? No. Well, that's not this. Uh I think the walkthrough mentioned something about pincers. Or do you just grab them? Never No, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to cut it free. Grap. Alright, so I guess it's, it's gotta be this one. That's not right. There. Come on. That's I. Oh, there, there. This, I, this. <laughs> it's apparently a thing. Hold on. Where the fuck is this thing? Walk through. Speed with two. I go to the queen chamber. Use the use the pincher on the bottles. Yeah, where'd the pincher fucking come from? Wow, that's even before the puzzle. I missed it somewhere. Uh, where's the pincher? A little over down. What the fuck? Speak uh, upgrade. Use the pincher. What? What pincher? Is there a pincher in the room? What are you talking about? A sledgehammer. I have a sledgehammer and some tools. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I found the pincers on the wall. They were like 10 pixels amongst a thousand. It looked exactly the same as everything on the background. I found the pincers and I'm gonna use the item. Let's I'm use them. Okay. Great. Now I have proof for Gavin. I'm gonna go give the proof to Gavin and then stuff's gonna happen and then I'm gonna... Fuck, I'm gonna... F uh, fuck. No, that's the wrong way. That's, that's the wrong way. Go, no, no. Go this way. 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 I've read ahead in the walkthrough. I've read ahead in the walkthrough. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Do you know it's coming? No, you don't know it's coming because you haven't read it yet. I know it's coming. Not to the end, I mean, but just for the scene. What's coming is another. It's another. It's another puzzle. Another puzzle that's gonna crash. I'm sure. It's one of those interactive. Just, just fucking take it. Just. Fu fuck you. Take it. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me? By the makers. Yes. Of course. I suppose we should search Gromna's pod. Come on. I have his globe code. Globe code. Cool. That's an interesting walking animation you got there. Okay, you've got the code. Would you mind entering That's it, please? That's impossible. The path is blocked. Really? You you can't talk to him. You can't you can't talk to him. That's impossible. The path is blocked. <sighs> Hold on. Let's talk about the team first. I've seen your fellow team members in the Queen's chambers. Gromna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them. I'm sorry, Graven, but their minds are gone. It's too late. May the makers preserve their souls. What's the globe code, Graven? Immortal. That's the word to unlock the door. Password. Immortal. Enter. Well, that was easy. What are those? They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of the Great Machine. Great Machine? What's that? 
It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise, but now it remains silent. Hmm. What? According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the great machine and see for myself. Okay, cool. Bye. Can I, can I do something? Oh, there we go. I had to wait 10 seconds for him to walk away before I could actually do something. That's cool. Safe, 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 safe. Surely what's coming is not a stupid musical puzzle. No, no, surely, surely not. Mutilated grubs? What is Gromna doing with them? Mutilated... Mutilated grubs? I think he's mutilating them. That's about it. A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important within. Oh my god, I wonder where the key is. I might have to painstakingly search for it if I hadn't read the walkthrough and know that it's under the pillow. This pillow appears to be rather lumpy. Hmm. Aha! A key. Grap, a locked cabinet. Yep. I suspect yes. that the traitor keeps something important within. Yes, thank you for that dialogue that I couldn't skip. That's very nice. No, don't do it. Take it. Take the fucking stuff. Hmm. A control device. It seems to be generating an odd sound. Romna's notes. They say that the sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Romna's... Okay, cool. Well, it just so happens I know where that is. That's the thing over in the thing and the stuff and the stuff. These designs, I do not understand them. Hmm, perhaps we should examine them more. These designs... Maybe if I spend some more time, I will understand them. The Damn! The Damn! The Damn! When the two species are merged, a kind of super metabolism is possible. Cool. Hold on, that gave me an idea. Maybe if I examine them again, it'll make sense. The Damn! Clock, 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 clock. And then you go like, and then you go like, and then you do this, and then you like go. There. Must I pass through the bowels of the monster? Yes. Okay, that was... okay. Hello, my children. Yes, father is here. <laughs> Well, those are his children. Wonderful, wonderful children. They have faces only a, a, a no one could love. Children in cages! Everything I see in this place enrages me more! Hello, children. How are you? Cool. Surely that's not a musical puzzle. That that's not a clue for a musical puzzle. Surely it's not, children. No. Ha 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 ha. Do 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 do. Fuck this. What are you doing? What have they done to this poor fellow? He's got an insectoid body. Who are you? I am Gr Grando, and you you are I am Grimwall. G 
Gr Grimwall the hero? Too late to sa save us n now, hero. Well, I have to ask him the two most important questions I ask everyone. Where and what? Where are you from? R research team. S s sent to invest- Yeah, I get the picture. Sent by who? C Council of Peace. Sent us to s stop the- p Plague of Insects. Yep. But, I mean, I, I think I already know the answers to all of this plague. Plague? You mean- the insects were going to take over the city's Yes, we already now. know. Yes. Uh, until Grom came up with uh, his Gromna. plan. Mm -hmm. That's what was his plan? You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> yeah, the peace treaty is not actually a peace treaty, which I already know because the technician told me. They're planning to attack. What? I must warn the council before it's too late. Already. It's already too late. His plan's gonna be. Uh, what? He's a traitor. Yes, I, we already know he's a traitor. Team, what team is? <laughs> The council of, yeah, already, yeah, what? What are you doing here? I f feed the clones. Out of all of that, that was the only inf interesting thing he said. The only thing I actually did not previously known. He is the feeder. These aren't real children? R real enough for the queen to, to feed on. By the makers! The m m makers cannot help. Cannot help us now. Goodbye. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, I think I got it. <sighs> but I'm guessing using the device is going to initiate one of the screens. It's probably going to crash. If that happens, I'm, d I'm done. Not permanently, but I mean done for the episode. Let's let's try this. Even the doorway is blocked by a living wall of worms. By the gods! Even the door. Whatever will I do? The grubs make noise. For what purpose? I can't imagine what purpose this is for. These grubs are making some kind of faint noise. I wonder. Ugh, hold on! Grab. Hold on! Hold on! Before you do that, let me save. A sound generator. Hold on, wait a minute. I have a sound generator. How does that work? Like, how do I use the sound generator with what I'm about to do? Whatever a the hell I'm about to do. That would harm. That won't. All right, whatever. Just put it down. Surely it's the game's not going to crash, right? Dun 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 dun. Did the game just crash? The game just crashed. It. I literally lasted half a fucking second in that screen before the game crashed. Hi, you're looking at a black screen. Do you like this black screen? I worked really hard on it. I, I worked hours and hours on this black screen. Mommy, do you like it? Will you please put this black screen picture up on the fridge? It's re I'm really proud of this black screen. I fucking love this game. I mean, um... What? Oh. Oh. Okay, um... Train of thought. Re regain train of thought. Ba back on the train. Brain. Brain train? Yes. I'm, I'm done for now. Not permanently. I, I still like this game. Kind of. I like parts of it. Um, but the crashing is making me want to go fucking insane. And now that I, now that I last spent like 20 minutes trying to solve that one puzzle, through all the crashes, I really don't feel like doing another one. <sighs> I mean, this one might be able to be solved pretty easy. I don't know how many steps it has, but either way, I don't have the mental energy to do it right now, so. I'm going to end this episode here. I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.